believe of people who promote tax avoidance schemes, uh, like those by the rich and famous, or we see used by the rich and famous, to be named and shamed. Yes, there's a, there's a couple of stories here. As you say, um, one committee of MPs is saying that people like, I think we remember Jimmy Carr last year, of course, was taking his finances offshore and, and therefore avoiding paying on tax, uh, will be made to do so. And also, um, I think that's more interesting, the Labour leader Ed Miliband yesterday said that those big corporations, as we recall, Starbucks, Amazon, but Google as well, last year were found to be using very clever legal loopholes to avoid paying tax. And what he's saying is that we're not going to necessarily make them pay tax. That's a very difficult thing to do. The Prime Minister is going to attempt when we run the G8, uh, chair the G8, to, to sort of work with other nations to do that. But he's saying, why don't we at least make these companies declare how much tax they pay? Now, there's no legal obligation for them currently to do so, but I think it'd be very difficult if a head of steam starts to build up mm. um, amongst all the three main political parties uh, for big companies who are located in the UK, who at the moment, many of them don't pay much tax, um, not to declare their tax as an absolute bare minimum. I think a lot of people feel that at the moment, when the economy is struggling, when people are personally struggling, why should we be paying our taxes and our income taxes and VAT and the rest of it with these big companies who've got mm. millions of pounds, like millions of pounds worth of profit, billions of them, and not even paying their fair share? So I think it's a very clever political move. Interesting that they say companies, because I think it's when it comes to individuals, people are more under confidence.